What's up everyone, it's your boy Norn Rad89 here bringing you another video and today is going to be a fun little get to know you video, kind of a companion video going along with one of my fellow YouTube friends, Jason the Old Millennial. He had a video that he put out called 8 Questions for uh, his fellow YouTubers. So what I'm going to do is kind of like I said, join in along with this and answer the 8 questions that he posted about. I'll also have a link in my description to his video so you can go over there and check out his and subscribe to the channel. He does a lot of awesome content. So today, like I said, you're going to get to know my answers to his 8 questions for his fellow YouTubers. And I think this is an awesome idea. It would be really great if other YouTubers and other ones just joined in and all like kind of like said joint videos of sharing different questions and getting to know you stuff you know I know a lot of video YouTubers they do that stuff in like kind of live streams and everything but it'd be cool if like said answering these eight questions that he proposed to everybody and then we can maybe get a chain going have a lot of other YouTubers answering these questions as well so let's get into this roll it Let's get into this right away with eight questions for fellow YouTubers and I'm going to be answering them today. I have them written down right here so I'm going to be looking down so I know the questions and stuff like that. It's going to be kind of boring because a lot of them I had answers to were no and all that kind of stuff which kind of sucks. But <laughs> So first question that we have on the list right here is have you ever cosplayed at a movie theater? And that's going to be a no for me. I've had a lot of fun in movie theaters and totally thought about it before where I'm like, oh, I should dress as Michael Myers, like Jason Voorhees, like Ghostface when I go see a movie. But yeah, I've never cosplayed at a movie theater before. And now next up is, have you ever walked out on a movie? And that's going to be a no. I pretty much give movies a fair shake all the way through. I've fallen asleep on movies before, but I've never, ever walked out on a movie. And like the first movie that I remember ever falling asleep on was the first Hulk film by Ang Lee. That was the, I was watching that like me and my mom. We were watching it in her room one time, like I think on like cable TV or something like that. And I just, yeah, I remember passing out on that movie, and I don't remember what happened. Like I had to watch it again, like after that. So yeah, that's like the first movie that I ever remember passing out on. Now, next question is, what movie have or what's a movie the most that you've seen in theaters that you've gone to see multiple times? And that's going to be Dark Knight Rises for me. And that's three times. Typically, I don't go see movies a lot that much, like multiple times. Like it's very, very rare. But the Dark Knight Rises, I went to go see three times. I freaking love that film. That is my favorite Batman film. And I really do think that's Christopher Nolan's best Batman outing and film, like for real. A lot of people kind of talk down about that one because it has kind of like script problems that typically don't happen in a Christopher Nolan film. But to be honest, I think the main problem with that movie is that it came after The Dark Knight, which people, a lot of people herald Dark Knight as being the greatest superhero film of all time. But yeah, I do think Dark Knight Rises is a better movie and the best Batman film out there. And yes, I did go see it three times in the theaters. Next up is... Uh, oh, next question, number four. This is the number four question is, have you ever gone to a movie for a first date? And yes, I did. And that's me and my wife. I took her to go see Hangover 2. That's Zach Galifianakis and Ed Helms, you know, like just classic crazy comedy, you know, like Hangover 2. It's not a film I return to a lot, but it's a film that I do hold near, dear, close to my heart because yes, it is the first film I ever took my wife out to go see in the theaters and yeah hangover to it's it's funny like it's got moments like at times I did like it better than the first film and like I said because of that personal attachment to it I do kind of like I said hold it in higher regards to that first film and I just have a lot more laughs with that first that second film like it just is wild bonkers especially when they discover that crazy monkey and they lose um, Ed Helms' wife, like his her brother, like they lose the brother and like his finger gets cut off. Like there's wild stuff that goes on in that second film. It's just like Hangover 1 dialed up to 11, add in cocaine and crazy monkeys and like, you know, that's Hangover 2. <laughs> so now question number five is, have you ever made out during a movie? And that's going to be a no for me if this is 
talking about just movie theaters, it's going to be a no. And movies are really like my first love in life. So you can actually ask my wife about it. She kind of like when I was talking about these questions and talking to her about it, like she kind of rolled her eyes and laughed at that one because she knew the answer was going to be no. Like I do. Movies are like my first love. And like when I go to a theater, like that's kind of like what I go to to see is the movie and I want to digest it. So yeah, making out time doesn't like really classify as a time when I'm going to the movie theaters. <laughs> Number six is, have you ever been to a drive-in movie theater? And that's going to be a no, and that's going to be, I really wish I freaking had. I really wish I've been to a drive-in theater. I've never gone to one. I know there's very few out there now in the United States, but I would love to travel and maybe go out and see one. Or like New Mexico, I live in New Mexico, and this is like the perfect place to have a drive-in movie theater because we have very nice like sunny nice weather days like 80 percent of the year pretty much next up let's see that was question number six question number seven is the first movie you remember seeing in the theaters and for me i had to really think about this one i even asked my mom and she knew like the first movie she took me to was some kids movie but i don't remember that but the first movie i remember seeing in theaters was Space Jam and I believe this was 1995 or 1996. I was about six years old. I was huge into basketball. Basketball is my favorite sport, the NBA, and Michael Jordan was an all-star. He was a celebrity. He was known across the world in countries that didn't even have basketball teams, knew who Michael Jordan was. So when Space Jam came out, I had to go see that movie. Plus, I'm a really big fan of the old school Looney Tunes. So yeah, Space Jam was a big deal for me, and that was the first movie that I remember going to the theaters with with my mom. Now, number eight is your go-to movie snack besides popcorn, and for me, that's going to be nachos. I always do nachos. Like I, Popcorn's kind of like an additive for me. If I feel like getting some buttery popcorn, I'll get it, but my main number one snack when I go to the theaters is nachos for real some cheese some chips some jalapenos that's my jam for real another a close second for me is going to be reese's pieces i'm not a huge fan of m&ms i think reese's pieces are really where it's at in terms of like that hand like snack food kind of candy stuff so yeah nachos reese's pieces those are my go-to snacks besides popcorn and again, I want to thank Jason, the old millennial, for popping out this video and bringing up eight questions for his fellow YouTubers and a Get to Know You video. And like I said in my intro, I would love for other people who follow me, if you have a YouTube channel, definitely pop out a video answering these questions. It's, it's awesome. Like just a little Get to Know You chill video for all these other YouTubers and for fans and people that follow you to get to know you. And thank you for sticking around for me, y'all, for this video. And leave a comment in the comment section. Share your answers to these eight questions. I'll have the link to Jason, the old millennials video in my description, as well as the eight questions. So thanks for sticking around with me, y'all. And most importantly, have a safe and happy day. Peace out.